Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, James, have you ever wondered what happened if you put a car tire over your head like a bandana? <laughs> Do you think that your sweat would turn into motor oil and perhaps you could run at Mach 7 at speeds of 52 miles per hour like a cheetah? <laughs> so you, you'd be like speed racer, essentially? Yeah. Like, Holy crap, what's with all the freaking spiders? Maybe they are infinite. Jesus Christ. So is that a no? Uh, no, unfortunately. Wow. I never thought of that. Okay. I, I'm not as cool as you. I don't, I don't have thoughts like that. I'm ice cold like a cool guy in no world full of man. Oh, dude, oh I saw Joke. I saw Joker. Oh yeah, I've been, I've been meaning to talk about that. You, so you and Jen and I have now all seen the Joker movie. Dog, I thought it was amazing. You thought it was amazing? Yes. You really loved it, huh? Yes, I think it's my second favorite movie of the last few years. So my favorite movie of- No, 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 no. Third, third favorite movie. Alright, what are the other two? Uh, number one is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Number two is Bad Times to El Royale, which came out like a year, year and a half ago. Oh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I, God, I, I wanted to see that movie Dude. with you, but I ended up- it's so good. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I saw the the Joker but the third too. Third movie, Joker. Um, yeah, the no, acting I... was insanely good. Was it? Was it really that good? Yes. Damn. Yes. I mean, I thought it was good. Joaquin Phoenix killed it, dude. Yeah, he did a good job for sure. And the like, cinematography was really nice too. It looked really good. Yeah, no, it was a. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say, but I I didn't absolutely love it, but I did enjoy it. It was very. To me, it, it it felt like one of those like sad dramas that I, I would have watched in uh, in college. Because back back when I was in college, when I took film classes, I had to watch a few like kind of depressing movies. Mm. It reminded me of one of those. Except, well, again, it it was like a drama movie. Oh yeah, it is a drama. No, yeah. for sure. Uh, but yeah, you just don't really strike me as like the drama kind of person. No, no, I, I don't usually like to see those kind of. I, I I like to see the more cartoony, lively, fun, silly yeah. movies. But, uh, you know, I, it was, um, I, I did think it was good. It was definitely, it felt like a drama that just happened to take place in the Batman universe. Yes. Like, it, it didn't even feel like a comic book movie. No. No, it just felt like a drama that happened to take place there, and it kind yes. of ties into the to the origin story of Batman near the very yeah. end, which was, uh, which was kind of cool. You know, it was, a uh, it, it was a movie all about, uh, well, I guess I don't want to give too much away, but. Yeah, don't. Yeah, no. It was about the Joker. What did I think about the Joker? No, I said it was a movie about the Joker. Yeah, yeah, but that, <laughs> that poor guy had a very shitty life. My man, <laughs> let me introduce you to my friend, the A button. <laughs> right here, the blue one. Tap that bad boy to jump. Jump, jump, bad boy to jump. Hell yeah. Um. Hey, by the way, I got a fax from my buddy, the A button. Oh, he dude. says you're allowed to hang out anytime you want, so don't you forget about it. Hmm. He also said, in case you don't want to come to him, he'll come to you. Okay, then. So, don't forget about the A button. Yeah, it's all the A button. He probably gonna help you. I'm probably gonna die. My oh. man, have you heard of my friend the A button? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but yeah, if you like dark movies, uh... I'd say go see The Joker. I remember being a little bit scared to actually go out and see it at the theater. Because oh. you, you remember the, the the Dark Knight shooting from 2012? Yeah. I remember seeing like jokes on the mm. internet. Uh, this one guy making a joke about reporters being like, God, I really hope nobody goes and shoots up The Joker movie. It'd be real, a real shame if that happened. <sighs> hey, he got your boogie. Damn it. And, th and then the reporter's like, Somebody please shoot up the Joker movie. We need these articles on the internet. We need clicks. Please, somebody shoot up the Joker movie. And as far as I'm aware, that that did not happen. No, I don't think so, luckily. That's that's very good. That is. Yeah. I definitely thought about it. I was like, hmm. <laughs> you thought about going to shoot up the no, Joker no, 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 no. I, I thought know, I about know. that happening. I know, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, fuck, no. <laughs> you really think I'd think that? <laughs> no. <laughs> but then I realized once you said that, I'm like, I guess I could have uh, misspoken there. The way I said that was a poor choice of words. <laughs> I definitely thought about that uh, like chain of I had that same chain of thought as you did I was like a little bit worried about that I was like hmm it's cause it's only I, I remember when that happened I, I was like fuck no I was really God damn. 
<laughs> I was Jesus like, Christ. <laughs> I, I just remember being like, I, I remember having like huge like anxiety <laughs> when that back in 2012. Um, <laughs> just setting the fucking record straight. I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, I don't. I don't even think I need to explain. You, you don't need to. It's okay. obvious. <laughs> Only stupid people would not Jesus get it. Jesus fuck. Um, <laughs> Hello, best of I, baby. I had, I had that line of thinking too, of like you know, doing my justice to journalists around the world and giving them clicks. Good God. Um, you know, I, I remember like being really scared. I was like, holy shit, people actually can go out to a movie theater and like just shoot jesus i, I don't want to get too into it because it's not a very happy subject yeah yeah, but, yeah yeah i remember that freaked me out for the longest time but for the, sure oh, over time i realized eh, eh, the chances of it happening yeah. is pretty low the but, only thing i'll say on it is like uh, i wouldn't worry about it statistically it's not gonna happen yeah like the chances are very 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 yeah. very low on the news and stuff they make it seem like it it's gonna fucking happen to you but like it's not gonna happen to you <laughs> I remember before. <laughs> you remember the what was what was that event called? Twenty twelve, the Mayan calendar thing. The Mayan calendar. Well, End of the world. Yeah. What was what was the the name of that event supposed to be called? Hey, my man, have you heard of my friend the A button? Have you heard of my friend? Suck my ass. <laughs> hey, yeah, I have. We went out on Friday. <laughs> Jen came too. It was sweet. Oh, uh, you guys had a threesome. That's not... Yeah, with your ass. Oh. Uh, yeah. Too bad I wasn't there to. Yeah. We um, got the vacuum out, and I was like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, Jen? Jesus, why? Why are we just? I don't know if Jen appreciates me making three some jokes where she's involved. I think she knows it's a joke. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> what were we just talking about? Uh, you said what the Mayan calendar? What was it? Oh called? yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay. I remember the like within the few days before that was happening, mm -hmm. I I had no, I did not believe it was actually going to happen. Yeah. But then I sat down. I was watching TV one night. <laughs> And I was watching one of those bullshit, like, half-hour or hour-long uh, specials. specials talking about the chances of it happening. Oh, God. And they had a freaking... <sighs> The, they had sci actual scientists on the show saying, no, th it's not going to happen. The, the, this says this, but no, really the chances of something like this happening are incredibly low. I'm like, okay. And then it's like, then the announcer guy comes on and says, yes, but when you're... But when you're running to look for food as you're about to die, this shit is going to go down. Blah, blah. And I was like, holy shit, this could actually happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually fell for it briefly, because yeah. even though I knew nothing, because I knew nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. And of course, a few days later, once it passed and nothing happened, I was like, okay. Yeah. Jesus. Pre pretty much what you have to, like, think about is just every every form of media's like purpose unless it's a non-for-profit like documentary or scientific journal or, or something like that the the main goal is to drive views and get money from ads so if you can say sensationalize something it's probably going to be beneficial to you so if you you know watch like a a main news channel and stuff uh you just have to be cognizant that you know at the end of the day they're there like you said to drive clicks so mm -hmm. If you're uh, all I, the reason I'm saying this is if you're a person who like freaks out and stuff, don't worry. It, it's like the world we live in right now is probably the safest it's ever been at any point in history. So at least where you and I live right now. <laughs> I, I think it pretty much everywhere in the country, other than like maybe a, I don't I don't know of any like communities, but yeah, I think pretty much everywhere it's very safe. Wow. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm Jen's just, getting a tray out. I'm just so freaking gullible, man. Seriously. No, no. Every, every time there's always, there's always like somebody saying, oh, there's, it's going to be the end of the world. <laughs> this time it's actually going to happen. The end of the world is coming. This time it's actually going to happen. Yeah. It's like when the year 2000 came around, people are like, Y2K. Y2K, the brains are going to get into the computers. Yeah. Like there's always some crap like that going yeah. on and it, it never actually happens. Yeah, so. it does. Y2K did happen. That's why you think you're in here. We're in the Matrix right now, dog. <laughs> what, what, what was? What did people say about Y2K? Didn't they say that like the all because the electronics the clocks, were gonna? Yeah, because the clocks weren't able to handle uh, resetting back to 2000, right? What? From 1999, what? like the, everything was gonna shut down, and and we we're gonna be living off the grid again. And since like our defense system and everything was you know computerized at this point, that like shit was gonna hit the fan, and we we're gonna be off the grid, and and everything was gonna go to shit, and and uh like whoa, 
That was cool. Remember that hidden um, thumb that Razorbeard ate? Yeah. This is where it is. Wow. And, uh... You found him! Yeah, crazy. Whoa, that's creepy. Yeah, isn't that nuts? What the hell? Is and this supposed to be his stomach? No, no. Oh. It, just, it just somehow teleported here. Oh, I, okay. I don't know how, but... Alright. Uh... Yeah, so... I... I don't remember where I was going with this. Uh, we were talking about Y2K and stuff. Oh yeah, so, so they thought, bullshit. yeah, they since they thought that you know, or some people thought that, um, like the you know, uh, defense systems were gonna go offline and that the uh, market was gonna go offline, everything was gonna go to shit. The R clocks are incapable of displaying two thousand the letters, the the numbers two zero zero zero. <laughs> we're all gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's like the oversimplified version, but yes, that was like kind of the thought process. I just, I, I never know what to believe anymore when I hear it on the internet. It's like, ah, there's just so much bullshit out there. Yeah. It's like, what do I believe? That's probably why I'm so cynical, man. Yeah, no, I... Uh, mm -hmm. Anytime Absolutely. I read something, I like won't believe it until I like see a bunch of things that back it up. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Can I freaking... Oh, wait... Oh, yes, yes. Hey! Yeah. Oh, you got it! I think this. I think we're at the end of the episode, are we? Yeah, we're 11 minutes in. Y2K happened, we're in the Matrix! Next time on Royal Cubes!